Okay, today we're going to work on a little piece of cottonwood bark. It's a uh, forest nymph. A um, little girl holding a uh, little jar full of fireflies. So, I'm going to work on this and uh, stick around and we'll cut it out. Here we go. Okay, so on this one we're uh, working on a piece of uh, cottonwood bark. And uh, this had a carving on the other end of it. And I ended up cutting it in half so it would have a... So it would sit on the shelf. And this was the leftover piece, so I decided to put a little uh, girl's face on here, and uh, she's holding a little jar that's uh, got the little fireflies in it. So, starting out just with a uh, kind of a coarse bit, just to remove the outer shell there, get down to the softer uh, bark down inside. This is cottonwood bark, and if I didn't say that already. Yeah. It was a pretty nice day for carving this. Warmed up a little bit. She looks very angry right here. But we'll fix that. <clears throat> Once again, if you saw my other videos where I carved uh, the mermaid or whatever, it's a, a little girl's face. Uh, features are much more than a regular old guy, wood spirit type thing, so uh, just it was kind of different for me to work on this, and it took me a little while to whittle it down. I got the uh, whole face whittled out, and it looked pretty good looking at it from this camera view from the top, but uh, as I was looking at it straight on the face was kind of long realized I had had I wanted to shorten it up so I ended up uh, moving her chin up and then uh, cutting the bottom of her nose up moving her nose up a little bit and I was able to uh, just kind of work her top lip up underneath of her nose a little bit more and then re carve her bottom lip in worked out pretty well didn't have to go too much deeper into the carving and uh, couldn't tell it I completely redid the whole face basically this wood was our uh, cutting wood bark was really really soft so a lot of this was done with the diamond bits once I got the bulk of it out of there I just used the diamond bits and and then uh, used a little bit of 320 sandpaper, just hand sanding on her face.
I was just playing around with uh, what I was going to do underneath of her arms. I thought maybe like a little dress type thing, but uh, I decided to do something a little different. You'll see here in a few minutes. <clears throat> And just uh, detailing the leaves out a little bit more. And working on her hair a little bit. And you can see the space between her chin and that jar moved back quite a bit. That's that's the uh, whenever I moved her face back. Another little fun fact about this one is uh, her left hand, whenever I was cutting the fingers in, uh, I got them all pretty much cut in there and then realized the left hand had uh, six, five fingers and a thumb. So I had to go back and carve her extra pinky off. I don't know who was counting on those that uh, messed that up. So I was just uh, counting the fingers there, and then this is where I cut the cut the extra pinky off. If you get tired of uh, carving mushrooms and uh, little uh, gnomes and stuff like that, uh, the uh, carving a little girl's face in a, in a tree with a, uh, her hands holding something is a little bit more challenging. It's not too bad. Uh, the face, the face is the hard part, or at least for me. I like cartoon faces, you can make the eyeballs great big and that makes it a lot easier. Doing this leaf detail, I'm just using a uh, pointy uh, diamond bit I'm going in and uh, doing all the outlines and a little 
little bit of carve in the middle out. I'm going to switch over here and put a little bit of a skinny flame bed in there and uh, just uh, bring out a little bit more of the detail in those bigger leaves. And just adding a little bit of the uh, paints just to highlight some of the, bring out some of the uh, details on it a little bit. When I did get the uh, paint done and got it dried up there a little bit, I put some of the uh, Minwax Paste Wax on this, and I, uh, I had, like I said, this was a piece of wood. The other half of it was already carved, and I had put some oil on the other carving, and uh, it went really dark. So I figured I'd try some of that Paste Wax on this, because uh, I've had good luck with it. It's not going as dark, but on this piece, uh, this particular piece of wood, it uh, went, turned it pretty dark. It just kind of stayed that way. I thought it would lighten up when it dried, but it didn't really lighten up. Still, still pretty happy with the way it turned out. Wished it would have lightened up just a little bit, but it's. Uh, but I still like the carving. The carving turned out really awesome. Alright, so we got this week's video done, uh, the little forest nymph, um, she turned out really cool, uh, there's a lot of little fine details in there, uh, took me a little while on her face, and, uh, but I, I think it turned out pretty cool looking, pretty, pretty cute, so anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching.